Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to day 22 of 30 Days of Calm. Hopefully, you've watched all the videos and you're well aware of what this is. If not, well, you're in for a major surprise because anything can happen. No, not really. It's just a short little vlog on daily 10 minute meditations I do via the, uh, the app Calm. And and today I am looking forward to it. It's been one of those full-on days, uh, very physical. I've been um, chopping some hedgerows out, and for those who would condemn me for my ecological destruction, if you can see my hands. I don't know, maybe you can't. You may be able to see that there is about 500 thorns in them. So the hedge row certainly got its revenge. Anyway, I'm gonna do the meditation and as always, I'll see you on Okay, so there we are, day 22, and another lovely practice that's really managed to mellow me out. <laughs> I'm noticing that I'm quite tired, I'm noticing that there's quite a lot of pain in my hands, as you know, as they get used to all these weird barb, barbs, you know, wooden barbs in the, under the skin, I wasn't much good at getting them out, the two that I tried probably have ended up worse <laughs> so I'm going to just put up with it because you gotta be tough <laughs> okay so a lot of people me included have answers ready made for a number of situations so what do you do oh I'm a accountant for a software firm and blah 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 blah, blah. Another good example may be the opinions on things and the way, is that, what do you think about that? Oh, well, it's definitely this, this, and this. Oh, well, it's perfectly justified because of this, this, and this, this, this. What's so determined to be justified, so determined to know and to have it figured out? Is there some risk in non-knowing in looking like a bit of an idiot. I was thinking that today, actually. I've, we're undergoing a project in which it's very hands-on and pretty much everything that, that we put our hands on becomes uh, a full task and, and then our, often, often we've got no experience or skill in those areas and you have to look like an idiot because it's the only way to figure things out. We have to start from square one and look like a bit of an idiot. So that we can notice where we're making mistakes and learn. And sometimes people who already know what they're doing will come and they'll tell you and in those moments it can be quite difficult not to be full of pride and, and quite defensive like. Ugh. What's behind that though? What fear is there? What 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 am I gaining by having a huge ego about the whole thing? So yeah, today's practice was lovely, and if you haven't guessed already, the subject was noticing. And in meditation, you take that noticing to a real personal place, conscious wherever possible of whatever arises, feelings in the body, feelings in the heart, thoughts in the mind. One of the most complicated, hardest things to do is to see our own truth in situations because a lot of the time we don't want to. After 22 days of meditation, I'm noticing a lot more about myself, my general mood, my states. I want to really talk about states of mind and being because I've noticed a lot more that rather than having set and defined personality traits that are definitive and can't be altered and this is just who I am, the, the more 
relevant and often more likely explanation is it's the state I'm in. I'm grumpy, I'm hungry, I'm tired, I'm happy, I'm calm. These states impact my interaction with the whole world and my interpretation of it. Okay, so end of day 22. Take some time for yourself. Notice what you haven't noticed. Let's see how tomorrow goes. Thank <laughs> you.